there with famine at Arc Tangent. How are you guys getting on? Cool, man. Very well, thank yeah, you very yeah, much. Yeah. How was it today from your point? Yeah. Great, it was excellent. Great. Yeah. 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 Well, once people started pouring in, uh, the first song going, yeah. Yeah, we could feel the energy sort of filling up the tent. Yeah, yeah exactly. Which yeah. is what we like. So, uh, yeah, it's nice, yeah, nice sound. Yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, really, really content. attentive audience. It's quite nice to see people just listening Paying and attention. responding after. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It does seem like one of those kinds of festivals. Like, I, I'm this first time I've ever been. Have you guys? Same. No, I've never been. Same. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, first time it's, they fit. They manage to fit a lot into a small space, don't they? Yeah, yeah. So it's compact. Yeah. That's what I've found. Mm. Yeah. Who else are you going to be checking out today? Well, Chris is watching Elephant Tree right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which is my dead set on watching them. Yeah. Uh, definitely, obviously, Opeth later. Yeah, but yeah. Um, yeah so yeah, I, yeah. Someone, someone told me that they're playing at the same time as Opeth, and I was gutting because mm -hmm. I really want to check them both out. Um, Leprous. Just oh, sweet, yeah. Just <laughs> just like that, actually. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Was it Ithaca that were playing earlier? It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're awesome. I'm definitely going to watch Leprous on the main stage. Oh man, Leprous. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think they're Which absolutely amazing. Yeah. Apparently about six something. Cool. So yeah, definitely. Got a bit of time. Five or eight. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, wicked. Yeah. Is, is there another band on at the same time as Leprous? Uh, Godflesh. Godflesh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I really don't want to miss Godflesh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. Godflesh. I always, I always yeah. mix them up with Flesh God Apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we can watch people. Yeah. So yeah. Godflesh and Grammys as well, so yeah, I've got to go. But Le yeah, Leprous yeah. is a good alternative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fam's line of Paul Barrow as They're well. such an yeah. interesting band. Uh, yeah. Guys, it's, it's three months since uh, The Ground Below came out now, yeah. near enough. What, what were you hoping to achieve when uh, that album was put out into the world? We, we just wanted our, our sort of like, a, it, it was supposed to be like a, an example of our current sound, you know? And um, I think it did achieve that quite well. It sort of gave people an updated version of what we were. Yeah, yeah. Where and the band so, has come since the yeah, last one. Exactly. Exactly. It's strange in the sense that like we it was all in twenty twenty that we were recording it, right? Writing it, finishing writing it and recording it, and then of course with lockdown and everything it's like we had to keep pushing back the sure. release all that time yeah. and so it's kinda of like just to finally get it out was yeah. really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I guess, yeah. yeah. I guess yeah. overall the, the hope is that people love it. I guess yeah. that's the yeah, yeah. get people get enjoyment out of it. And, uh, I suppose the, the third one must be very much in the works by now. If you, oh yeah. If you were sitting on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, oh yeah. No, yeah. There's, yeah. There's, yeah there's lots of stuff. Yeah, yeah, um, it's interesting. Floating around. Yeah. 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 Weird yeah. jams yeah. kicking about. Yeah. I reckon the album three is going to be as different from album two as album two is from album one. Yeah. 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 Well, that, it, so, it, like each. Obviously, I only joined the band last year. Um, my observation, Tom joined the band before me, was that the sound started to evolve a bit, um, and one of Tom's riffs like, made it onto the new album and stuff, so it's quite, I'm, I've not actually really sort of, I've not done contributed to any writing that's been recorded yet, so I'm, I'm excited about how if things are going to change with, you know, yeah, with, yeah how it's going to be different, but uh, it's exciting, man, yeah, yeah, evolving all the time, so. Chomping at the bit to get it done. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, that's it. That's it. yeah. Uh, how, how is it evolving? Like, well, I guess, I mean, the, 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 the first thing I would say, I suppose, is that I don't come from a doom background. I come from more of a hard rock, metal, jazz kind of background. Um, and so we, we were jamming the other day on something that kind of sounded a bit like a, a jazz doom. Or yeah. Doom. <laughs> doom. <laughs> jazz doom, yeah. Uh, so that it's going to be exciting to... I mean, obviously, it's still going to be a doom band. We're still going to be a doom yeah. band, but yeah, it's exciting. I think there's going to be some. It's going to be interesting to maybe more of a blend with like some a bit more complexity that yeah. they're obviously going to also kind of iron out to, to melt in with the sound. But yeah, yeah it's definitely yeah. Some different. Yeah. Inter Certainly not going to become a tech doom band, yeah. but, <laughs> but it's, 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 it's going to get want, a bit sorry. more technical. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't. We don't. We obviously want a bit of complexity in there to uh, you know to keep people listening. Mm. Also, we don't want it to be too technical that it sort of throws people off the yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, yeah. the rhythm, the the beat. It's, it's still all about you know. mood, isn't it? I think yeah, like yeah. Definitely um, atmosphere and mood. I think you can, you can, you can describe the, the, the current album as kind of progressive doom to, to a certain degree. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it might, they so might I think be more along those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Fantastic. What's, um, what's Canterbury like for live music or, or metal music? Uh, oh. So, a lot of venues closing. 
<clears throat> there, there's still some stalwarts out there going, aren't they? Like the lady, yeah, like, like, like nice the pub. Lady, it's always a good fun. Yeah, yeah. Show, yeah. yeah. Um, lady Luck was where we started, and uh, it continues to be like the beacon for, for heavy music, I would say. Uh, yeah. All sorts of music, really, in the Canterbury area. Um, so uh, it's good that that exists. And, um, you know. Andrew oh, Kesby, yeah, yeah he Kesby. does a lot of good stuff, doesn't he? A Penny, Penny Theatre, I think he puts on shows there. Yeah, um, and recently I think the Westgate Theatre, or West, is it Westgate? <coughs> or the Westgate Hall, yeah. Westgate Hall is just, he's starting to use that as a venue now, it's yeah, being on, yeah, behind the curtain, yeah. it's decent. Yeah. There's, there's stuff happening there regularly, but, but perhaps not as much as there used to be yeah. if there's venues closing. Yeah. There's not an appetite for it, I think. Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, the more yeah, venues are closed, it just pushes it underground. Yeah. Like the coffee shops are now doing live bands and stuff. Mm. I suppose one uh, effect of that is it forces you to look elsewhere for gigs which expand you because yeah, yeah. arguably if it, if it was all in one city that was really great then you might never leave that yeah, 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 man, yeah, yeah, yeah. for a while. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You get your like week, weekly spot or whatever at the set, yeah, my bands used to do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. What's, um, what have you got for the rest of the year? Come guys. Um, we're doing a, we've got a show in well we've got Helgi we're playing in, yeah, in Hackney uh, next weekend um, a place called Helgi's we've got fourth anniversary isn't it yeah, yeah that's it yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to be a sweat box <laughs> yeah. um, that's how we like nice it so intimate <laughs> nice intimate I'll put like raw in your face kind of show yeah. that one and we're playing in Wales in September um, we're, we're kind of obviously looking to get over to Europe, but with Brexit, it's actually been really genuinely very difficult yeah, to do. Yeah. Um, COVID so, on the rise in Germany, yeah. So. yeah, so but we are looking to get over to to, to, up to the continent um, later yeah. this year, uh, or if not, then early next year. But it, it's it's in the works. It's, yeah. all sort of it's happening. been very yeah. expensive and just very difficult to get it going. But it's it's like yeah, we're it's been talked about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I think it's the reality of the, the modern 2020s that we live in. It's, it's it, going to yeah. be more difficult, but yeah. uh, more more rewarding, I guess. Also yeah, that's longer. it, man. We can't yeah. wait to get back over there again. Yeah. We're sort of trying, yeah, looking at Germany and the Netherlands and Belgium. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah Belgium. Even if, if we can, even in Poland, there's a little town right next to Germany called Szczecin, but it's nothing that we can like announce yet. So yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 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 <laughs> what are you drinking? Ah, well, I'm drinking Currently, water at the moment, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, well, well the, the crate that we got... Only because I've run out of beer. Our band crate. <laughs> yeah. It's actually quite nice, this piston here. Yeah, it's quite nice. enjoyable. Yeah, I quite yeah. liked it. And then, what I, think, I haven't bought any beers on tap here yet, but I'm going to straight yeah, after this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's a bit controversial, I know, but I don't really like beer, so uh, I'm I've been controversial. double Jack and Coke. You're more of a... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Chris, Chris is a cider man. Um, yeah. But we're, we're, we're more beer heads, aren't we, Jimmy? Yeah. If I had Belgian beer, that would be my. I see what you mean. Belgian vibe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Swedish vibe. Yeah. Just yeah. about the double percentages that you yeah. Yeah. Belgian yeah. beer. Yeah. I, I, I brought two varieties of dark rum. One of them was Lidl dark rum. The other was Aldi dark rum. So. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go wrong. They're both horrible, the but. <laughs> 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 but uh, I'll cut that bit up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, thank you for your time. Nah, you're um, our pleasure. Thank you for me. Um, this has been fabulous. Thanks for listening. Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews and more, head over to our website, www.therazorsedge.rocks.